Let me know your thoughts on whether or not this uh, closing off of our borders, basically this suspension of immigration over the past 18 months, has actually proven that we don't rely on immigration because our economy has done exceedingly well anyway and, in fact, we've started to see some wage rises. Well, Chris, you are right. The economy has done exceedingly well. But we are at a point now where there are major skill shortages in the economy. As a result of the pandemic, half a million temporary visa holders left the country, many of which are skilled migrants. Uh, we have an unemployment rate of 4.9%. Um, it's been more than 10 years since we've seen an unemployment rate that low. But there are also record job advertisements right across the economy. Um, despite the lockdowns, um, uh, the job figures that were released only a couple of days ago indicated that ads are up 38% since the beginning of the pandemic. We do have in Australia endemic skill shortages in some parts of the economy, and it's those skill shortages that need to be filled by skilled migrants uh, or, over a longer period of time, by, by Australians who are trained to do those jobs. But there are many jobs in our economy that Australians uh, don't have the qualification or the skill levels to do at the present time, and that's why we need to rely on the skilled migration program. And just what quickly, recommend... why a faster route to permanent residency? Is that as an additional lure or to keep them here? Um, it's both, actually, because businesses told us... This is all about keeping Australian businesses running. Businesses told us that it is difficult uh, to get skilled migrants here. They would always rather employ an Australian, and that's as you'd hope it would be and as you'd expect it would be. But that when they've chosen to find a skilled migrant to come here, that the conditions are not necessarily attractive. And then you bring a person here and then they're thinking about, well, what do they do with their family? Um, uh, they keep looking over their shoulder, thinking, well, I'm only here for two years. How do I actually get some security? And for the business owner who's trying to turn a buck and who's trying to keep his business running and, uh, and grow the economy, that puts him in a very difficult position. So we just felt there needed to be clearer pathways to permanent residency uh, for people who come here as skilled migrants, feel, filling labour shortages in the economy with skills that we don't have. Julian Lisa, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Chris. Julian Lisa there, Federal Liberal MP, and he's chair of the Joint Standing Committee on Migration.